Alex Garland and A24 released the first official trailer for Civil War. I'm going to take a look at this one next. Hey everyone, it's the Outlaw John Roca. How you doing on this Thursday? You'll excuse me if I'm 24 hours behind on this trailer coming out. This one from Alex Garland and A24 for their new film, Civil War. This is one that a few of you have sent um, DMs and sent uh, tweets out to me and even commented on my trailer reaction yesterday to take a look at this one. Unfortunately, yesterday I was super busy with a million things, so I'm just getting around to watching this trailer now and looking at the um, uh, cast here. It's a pretty fantastic cast. Kirsten Dunst, uh, uh, Wagner Mora, Kaylee Spaney, Stephen McKinley Henderson, uh, Sonia Mizuno and Nick Offerman, one of my favorite actors for sure. This one's set in the near future. It revolves around the U.S. amid a civil war where government airstrikes are used against civilians and journalists are shot on sight in the Capitol. And the log line reads, reads, a race to the White House in a near future America balanced on the razor's edge. So for me, this is, I understand why people reached out to me and asked me to do a trailer reaction for this one, because of course I'm very much politically involved in things and I have my finger on the pulse of things that are going on on both sides of the political aisle and everything in between. So this is one that I am kind of trepidatious about and taking a look at because certainly I take this to heart as someone who served in the military for eight years in the U.S. Army, um, defending my country uh, being and loving my country is a very big deal to me. And, uh, you know, those of you who follow me know where I fall on the political aisle of things and what I think is happening and uh, the um, fracturing of this country, unfortunately, that's happening for other people's benefits. It's uh, super frustrating to watch on the sideline and not be able to do much about it. As I am just a regular U.S. American citizen, I do not have, you know, any political power with which to do these things. So I've been talking about a civil war for a few years now. So for me, this is a trailer that I think might be affecting me emotionally when I watch it. It may be also why I kind of didn't want to jump on it just yet because I didn't, I wasn't sure if I was ready to deal with it yesterday. But I certainly am ready to deal with it today and take a look at this trailer. Um, and uh, let's just bring it up and uh, we'll see how I react to it. And we'll see what my feelings are. And I'll probably break down a few things here as we watch it um, after it's over. So uh, let's take a look at this first trailer here for Civil War. 19 states have seceded. The United States Army ramps up activity. The White House issued warnings to the Western forces as well as the Florida oh, Alliance. Man. The three-term president assures the uprising will be dealt with swiftly. Let me know if you want to try anything on. I think there's a way there's like a pretty huge civil war going on all across America. We just try to stay out. With what we see on the news, seems Stay like it's for it. the best. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not political. Yeah. Citizens oh. of America. Oh, crap. The so called Western forces of Texas and California. Oh, Nixon president. Nice. Have suffered a very great defeat at the hands of the United States military. Mr. President, do you regret the use of airstrikes against American citizens? <laughs> We're moving to D.C. today. We need to go down there. They shoot journalists on sight in the Capitol. Every Jesus. instinct in me says this is death. Bloody. Every time I survived a war song, I thought I was sending a warning home. Don't do this. But here we are. There's some kind of misunderstanding here. What? Oh, Jesus. Well, you're American. Is that Jesse? Okay. okay. <laughs> what kind of American are you? You don't know? <laughs> Jesus Christ. The Western forces will reach the White House on July 4th. Oh my God. Get in the car! Get in the car! Yeah. Oh, no, no. Fuck off. You're gonna hang back. I'm not hanging back. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Go, 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 go. Jesus Christ. God bless America. As I suspected, I 
was, I knew I was going to go through something emotional watching that. So, you know, the other trailer reactions I do, man, it's like, I'm excited for this. I'm excited for that. And I'm looking forward to seeing, um, you know, these actors or these creators putting forth their uh, projects and hopefully enjoying them. This one's a scary movie. This one's a scary trailer. Um, there are quite a few of us who believe that the civil war is going to happen. The rhetoric keeps ramping up. The divisions keep uh, becoming starker and starker, especially over the last few days. We see what's going on with Trump and the trials, and we see what's going on with the rhetoric from the right about you know Trump about fabricating all this nonsense about Hunter Biden and Joe Biden. And we see that people are invested in creating divisions in our country. They're invested in this civil war because they're going to profit from it. They're going to make a lot of money. They're going to keep padding um, their book sales, although Marjorie Taylor Greene's book is tanking like crazy. And they're going to keep pushing their agenda. And clearly, Nick Offerman seems to be a president that's in the mold from of a Trump-type president or other type presidents that want to be fascists. Um, 19 states seceding from the Union... The last time we had a seceding from the Union, it was the South. So, um, and it seems to be that that's where some of this stuff is coming on. Texas and California working together. <laughs> I mean, unless uh, Beta O'Rourke sometimes uh, somehow turns it around there, it's a little bit unbelievable, but you never know. So who knows in the near future what the political moves are because people are moving blue people from, uh, people from blue states are moving into red states. People from red states are moving into blue states. Those kinds of things to change political um, makeups of those states. But look, the trailer is stark. It is unsettling. It is brutal. It is scary. Scary because it feels very real as opposed to some fantastical thing. You know, when you watch The Purge years ago, you're like, oh, The Purge, that's fun. The Purge could actually happen now. Like you wouldn't necessarily think that it's not possible. And then watching this trailer, um, you know, the idea of shooting journalists on site. How, what side of the aisle is calling for the death of journalists? Booing journalists, pushing them out, wanting to kill them, threatening their lives. We've heard, if you keep up on stuff, local journalists have been killed over the last few years who cover things in a certain way. And so it is the worst possible scenario throughout this trailer. I think Kirsten Dunst doing a wonderful job in the trailer uh, as well. Everybody in the trailer is doing a fantastic job in the fear and the scare. You get a little vibe of Walking Dead in this, seeing these feet hanging, so clearly people being hung, and then Jesse Plemons coming out in that sequence. I mean, look, that's everyone's fantasy who is a militia member to feel that way, to be those things, um, and it's scary. You know, it's scary how uh, the idea of America or their America, you got to think like them, and, and that's the fallacy with a lot of people is that you know oh free speech free speech unless you don't think like me unless you don't believe like me you know and so it gets uh hairy and it gets frustrating to watch every day and i do watch every day so this film uh is gonna hit me pretty hard i love alex golden as a as a filmmaker really loved ex machina defended annihilation um, and this one looks like another one that's going to fuck us up because Ex Machina kind of fucked us up with gender dynamics uh, there and what was going on with um, Alicia Vikander's uh, robot slash android slash whatever you want to say and Domino Gleason and Oscar Isaac. This having, uh, which, felt real, which felt topical and real even though it was set somewhere in the near distant future, this one feels like it's set in the near distant future and still um, unsettling as hell. Uh, but the action sequences here in terms of the war stuff is really scary and brutal. Um, I could blow this trailer off and be like, wow, this is an interesting approach to the world. This could never happen, blah, blah, blah. But to me, this feels very realistic. It's very possible, which is unfortunate to um, to say. And uh, I hope we never get there again. But this film certainly could um uh, depending on its approach depending on its point of view because we only just seeing on one side we don't know if what political uh, choice this is we don't know what uh, party this uh, party is uh, this polit party this president is a party to or or leader or leader of but uh you know all kinds of stuff's going on nowadays that's very real very topical to what we see in the trailer and uh that is not out of the realm of possibility what you see in this trailer some of the stark images some of the, the military being used in a negative way, airstrikes on civilians. Uh, you know, we had a certain former president who said he wanted to use the military to force 
uh, his uh, way to stay in power. So everything here feels way too real and unsettling, but it looks phenomenal. Um, uh, it's, this reminds me a little bit of United 93, uh, although that was after an event. This uh, feels just as realistic as that did in depicting something that could be uh, happening to our world and our country very soon, which is a shame. So, yeah, so we'll see. But anyway, this one is coming out, what, in the summer of 2024, I think it is? Oh, sorry, April 26th. Um, and uh, I'll certainly be watching it and doing a review for it. But, um, yeah, certainly very uh, just uh, worrying things for sure. Worse, uh, it, it sparks that within me seeing the trailer. Well, well what do you think of the trailer? What you all feel about it? I know a lot of you asked me to take a look at it. I have. What are your thoughts on it? Let me know down in the comments section below. Hit a like on this video, share it on your social media, and you know more than anything else, please subscribe to the channel down below. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button so you see we're dropping all the content we do here on the Outlaw Nation channel. All right, I'll talk to you next time with another brand new reaction video here on the Outlaw Nation. Take care. Yeah.